All right, guys, so real quick before I get into the video, I want to go over something. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of thinking of maybe broadening my scope a little bit, uploading a little bit uh, different more videos. So I just want to get your opinion on maybe what you want to see, what you don't want to see, uh, that sort of thing. So um, anyways, guys, obviously I'll always be posting card tricks, but like I said, just trying to get a little opinion here. So anyways, here's the trick. Uh, let's say the spectator could pick any card they want from the middle. In this case, let's say they pick this one here. Like I said, it could be any card, and in this case, we have the five of hearts. So what you want to do is, let's say we stick the five over here, and I haven't really mentioned these two aces, but these are going to play an important role later on in the trick. So let's say we take the five, we put that in the middle, and if you were here, I would let you shuffle up the deck, but in this case, you're not. So let's say we shuffle up the deck, and what I'm going to attempt to do is grab the card, palm it invisibly from the middle of the deck, wherever it's at, so it should be here, and all I want to do is rub it on top of this card over here, and as you can see, your card should appear in between these two aces. So this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so uh, the good thing about this trick is that it honestly isn't too difficult, so most of you guys who are beginner can probably do this um, as well. So anyways, here's what you want to do. You're going to start off the trick by having the aces kind of off to the side so if you're walking up to the spectator you kind of you don't make a big deal about it but you stick the aces off to the side or you have them hold them um, but you don't place too much emphasis on them at the moment so from here what you can do is you give the illusion that the spectator is picking a random card which they are um, but what you do is when you pull the card from the middle you're gonna push over the top card and catch a pinky break so you're just pushing that over with your thumb pulling it back catching a pinky break dropping this card on top and now you have two cards on the break and you say okay so it looks like you've chosen the five of hearts and you can throw that right back on the deck and it makes it look really casual like you only have one card and then you say let's put this on the table for now and in reality this card is not the five of hearts and then from here the reason like I said you don't go into too much detail about the aces is because at this point you can pick them up and now you say well you know what so these two aces over here and as you're flashing them you're doing that thing again where you push the card over, pull it back, catch a break. And you say, look, I only have the Ace of Clubs. You put that right on top of the break. And you say the Ace of Spades, and now you have these both. So you have a three-card break. You pick this up in middle grip, and you pull over the top card. And now you have a two-card packet here. And you put this all together in middle grip just like that, making sure that none of the edges are exposed. And now from here you say... Uh, you know, these cards are going to come in later on. So if you want, you could have the spectators hold the cards. That's what I would do personally. Um, so let's say it would be a better version if you have the spectator actually hold these three cards and you hold them in their palm or something. That way they have the cards and they know you can't really manipulate them. Then you say, you know what, let's go ahead and take your card, the five of hearts. And in reality, this is not the five of hearts. You're putting this back in the middle. And you say, you know what, let's give it a shuffle. And if you have the spectator holding the cards, you can shuffle it yourself or give the deck to another spectator. Or uh, you could just have them set this down, but make sure not to flash this card yet, and then you can have them shuffle. But anyways, the main point is that the card should be lost, and then you can use whatever method you want to expose this card from the middle. And then from here, you can spread it open. You can have the spectators look at it and show them that in between those two cards the whole time was their card. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And uh, like I said before, you know, put down in the comments maybe what you guys want to see more of, what you want to see less of, that sort of thing, and how you guys would feel if I started uploading different type of content. Obviously, like I said, I'll remain to my core of card tricks. But anyways, guys, this is it for the video today. And as always, thanks for watching.